Daily mileage, dwell time, level one, level two, level three. What do you think about when you hear these terms? Do you think about electric vehicles or EV charging? But what exactly do these terms mean? And how do they apply to EV adoption and EV charging? The electric vehicle ownership comes with its own language and we are here to help. There has been a huge surge in EV ownership with no signs of it decreasing. And we hope this explanation of need to know EV charging terminology proves useful to you. This video will guide you through terms you should know so you can master the electric vehicle charging language, whether you are new to EV vehicle ownership or just hoping to learn more. Daily mileage, the actual number of miles you travel each day. This number is imperative to managing your car range and knowing when to fill up or when to charge. Dwell time, the number of hours your car is parked at the office or at home. Home charging, charging an electric vehicle at home using a home EV charger. Workplace charging, charging an EV at work. Businesses that provide EV charging stations attract and retain employees and customers, boost their public image, and reach their sustainability goals. Charging levels, there are three levels of charging available, level one, level two, and level three or DC fast chargers. Level one is the standard home charger with a wall plug of 120 volts and is the slowest type of EV charging equipment. Level two chargers are usually found at public charging stations and use 240 volts. Level three chargers are the most robust of the three and charge with 480 plus volts. Level three chargers are the fastest way to charge an EV. There are currently three types of DC fast charging, combined charging system, CHAdeMO, and Tesla supercharger. Please note, not every EV can charge with level three chargers. Time to charge. The time it takes an EV charger to charge. The level one rate is three to five miles per hour. The level two rate is 12 to 60 miles per hour. And the level three rate is 60 to 80 miles in 20 minutes. Knowing your dwell time and time to charge helps you figure out how much and how often you need to charge in order to make it through your daily commute. Hopefully this video helps you overcome any hesitation you may have regarding EV adoption. After all, people are transitioning to EVs for a number of reasons, including decreasing their carbon footprints and saving on gasoline costs, among other benefits. Commercial businesses want to take advantage of those benefits as well. And as EV charging technology expands and improves, so will the EV fleet market. Thanks for watching.